Discretion is advised. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new episode of Train Simulator 2021 and today we are actually going to be driving another steam locomotive and this one is actually pretty unique because it is a cab forward uh, steam locomotive from the southern pacific and we are doing a scenario called pacific fruit express and we are continuing our drive to Truckee. keep an eye on the signals though as there is a train in front of us that is having a bit of trouble let's go ahead and hop in the scenario and let's go ahead and see if we can do this all right, so welcome back, Joe. It's time to haul these boxes over the summit to Truckee. Think you got what it takes. Be warned, though, other trains in the area are having trouble up there, so watch out for them. All right, so here is our cab forward, and like I said, it is a unique uh, steam locomotive because normally on, on locomotives like this, this whole portion is your front, and then this is actually towards the rear, but today we actually have this towards the, the cab towards the front, and everything else is on the rear. So it's a little bit of a different one. Um, but should be a fun trip nonetheless. Got our Southern Pacific Tender. And we have our Pacific Fruit Express uh, boxcars. That is a Southern Pacific and Union Pacific jointly owned. So I'm not quite sure if they are together at this point. Or if these are just like jointly owned cars that they jointly run together. I don't know. And we also have a Southern Pacific caboose on the rear. Now I don't want to hold up too much time. So let us go ahead and... Start us up here. Looks like we got another cab forward coming at us right there. So we're at 245 PSI. So let's go ahead and start this train up. And unlike the other one, we actually have headlights today. So that is a definite good sign. Should we get it up there to uh, not full throttle, but you know. Going to let the brakes go... Uh, clear up real quick and then once those are released we'll be all good there we go we should be all good now 90 psi there we go all right here we go ladies and gentlemen southern pacific number x4205 pacific fruit express train going down to uh the gold run loop which is in about half an hour or so we're going to see if we can actually run this one a little bit better than we ran the original. But yeah, Southern Pacific was actually home to... Well, technically, Southern Pacific and Union Pacific were actually home to some of the weirdest locomotives that you can ever see on the rails. So, of course, they had the cab forward. Um, they had a whole bunch of other, like, random locomotives and unique locomotives that, like, no other rail companies had. Um, I can't really think of all of them off the top of my head right now. But there were a bunch, and I mean a bunch of different ones, that they owned. So, but here's a look at the interior of the cab today. It looks actually really nice. A lot more simpler than the uh, other one. Uh, my only thing, though, is like, how would, would they shovel coal into the tender, though? Since it is like cab forward and stuff, I don't know how they would do that. Unless there's like a machine or something that does it automatically. I don't know, but we are losing PSI, and we don't want to be doing that. But it is 25 through here, and we're going about 23. So going to um, slow down here. Um, one thing, though, I did see on Facebook on one of the groups that I'm in is that I have... If you guys remember, I was talking about the CSX Albany subdivision that was going to get released for uh, this game. Well, unfortunately, they ended up stopping production on it. Um, temporarily, I don't know if it's going to be a permanent thing or if it's going to be, you know, just temporary. But as of right now, they have stopped production on it, which I'm kind of sad about. Um, but hopefully they can get back into it. Um, they said that it was just too much and for the route length, it was just too long. So uh, hopefully they end up just, you know, breaking it up in segments and just doing it that way, make it a lot easier. I don't know. But as of right now, there is no CSX Albany sub. The other routes that I did mention in this game are still on and all that fun stuff. So I'm still looking forward to those. Um, but yeah, we can open up windows in this bad boy. Uh, this window opens up too. 
Not sure why. It's kind of a weird window to open up, but it does open up. And yeah, but yeah, very unique locomotive, like I said. Very, very, very unique. Probably one of the more unique North American steam locomotives out there besides like the big boy and all that. I guess we have a horn quill on this. I don't know what that is. That's like the alerter button. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's also kind of nice because you can actually have the window open since that smokestack is towards the rear of the locomotive. So you won't have like, you know, smoke blowing in your face from the locomotive once it's like out in the front and all that. So it's actually really, really nice that it's set up the way it is. Looks like we got a clear signal. It looks like a clear or a diversion clear because the one on the left is on top and ours is on the bottom. So I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's a clear. Yeah, it looks like a clear. So it's a clear. Kind of odd that the signal is at the bottom instead of being up top. But, you know, it is what it is. Southern Pacific was a uh, unique railway because they even for, like, their whistle post signs, mostly they'll say W. As you actually, yeah, speaking of those, as you guys see that right there in front, it actually has an X instead of a W. So very unique on their whistle post as well. And they just, you know, have some very unique signals. So we're going to get on the uh, bell here. Try to see if we can speed this thing up a little bit. There's a crossing right there. We're going to go ahead and protect it. I love the smoke that comes out for the horn. That is actually really freaking cool. That is super, super cool. It's kind of cool how they have, like, the smoke dynamics for this game, but yet American Truck Simulator can't even add exhaust um, to their truck, so. Kind of weird. But, nonetheless, it's still pretty cool. I believe these are the defect detectors on the route. Um, I don't know if this is compatible with it. Because I know that I, if you use, like, the locomotives that come with Donner Pass you can actually hear the defect detector I don't know if this is one of them or not but 84 points for time timeliness penalty oh well no harm no foul I'm not here for the points I'm just here to have a good time and drive some trains so it looks like we'll be there about 1045 and then 1049 so about 1052 ish 1053 at the gold run loop and that's where they want us to stop um, they told us to watch our signals, so... I like how the one number board's, like, completely white and the other one has 4205. That's kind of weird. Alright, we're gonna start slowing her down here, because I'm not trying to, you know, get a speeding violation, but we got another clear. But yeah, that's that's weird. This gets completely white. And it's, oh. So the number board, so it's like a number board light, but it only works on one, it basically only works on one side, because the other side just completely blanks out the number. That's weird. That is very weird. I don't know. I do not know. So what you're telling me is there's a little platform over here, so the fireman has to go back over here to do it? That's kind of dangerous. I don't know. I've never actually seen these in real life. I don't even think any exist anymore. So I don't really know. We're stalling, it looks like. We don't want to be stalling. Nope, nope. We don't want to go full throttle. Yeah, we're going up a 2.4% grade, and we are stalling. Uh, looks like we're trying to gain some speed, but it's not working out too well. Oh, yeah, we are stalling for sure. There we go. Trying to, you know, get that up evenly so that we can try to get this thing working. It's going up, but then it's, like, going down at the same time. And so we're going to try to add a little bit more power. Man, we are stalling up a storm here. Oh, we got some wheel slip. We got some wheel slip. 
There we go. Keep it going slowly. Don't want no wheel slip. Oh, I'm pretty sure dispatch. Hopefully the dispatcher knows that we're kind of struggling going up this. Trying to keep my uh, both my PSIs in the green. But it looks like we're going up in speed now. Um, definitely was not what I was expecting. Was for us to almost stall going up this. Luckily we didn't stall. But we still have a good chance of going um, up to speed from where we're at right now. I don't want to keep pushing on the throttle either because, like I said, we're on a 2.4 grade going up. And I don't want to get any more wheel slip and I don't want us, you know, to start slipping, lose control, all that fun stuff. So... We're just going to have to make do with what we got. If this was a diesel engine, I'd have no problem getting it back up to speed. But with it being a steam locomotive and me having no idea how to even operate a steam locomotive, I am going to uh, take it slow and uh, just make sure that, you know, we don't derail or anything like that because that would be horrible if we lose our brakes, start wheel slipping, we can't control ourselves, and then we end up, you know, going down, so... Definitely don't want that. We definitely do not want any of that. So we're just going to take it slow. Take it slow as much as we can. But other than that, I hope you guys are having an awesome day today so far. Um, this video is actually pre-recorded, so I don't know what day it's actually going up. Um, literally, whenever I took that break in December, I just, you know, ended up recording just a whole bunch of videos and stuff. Um, didn't edit them, just kind of recorded them. And, uh, just kind of saved them for now. Just because, you know, uh... Had some days off, but it was just too much stress, you know, with uh, work being peak season and all that, and then having to wake up at 5 a.m., work until like 9, 10 o'clock at night, working like 50-hour weeks overtime with overtime and all that fun stuff. So it was just, it was just too much for old Adrian to handle. So we, uh, so we ended up having to take a little break. I didn't want to, but it's just something that we had to do, and I'm kind of glad I did take the break now. Um, but, yeah, we are back. We are back, so I'm happy about that. I do, like, regret not doing any Christmas episodes or anything like that, but it'll, it's okay. We always have this year and then, you know, years to come, but never know what's going to happen this year, so. Um, but, yeah, so, basically, we'll have some pre-recorded content from then mixed in with, like, new content and all that fun stuff, so it's just going to be, like, a little mix so if you hear me talking about something that doesn't make sense, that's why. It's because it's pre-recorded, it was made back like in December, and it's probably going to be uploaded like January, February-ish. All that fun stuff. The only reason I'm doing it this way is because I can have content, like, you know, my daily uploads back from like January 1st all the way up to December 31st. So I can actually have 364 or 5 videos, um, you know that year which would be awesome if I can do it that way um, that's my goal for this year is to have daily uploads every day maybe miss like a couple days but my goal is to just have daily uploads every day but that is my like New Year's resolution that is my goal and I'm hoping to achieve that goal um, by doing this so definitely get definitely a good thing to get a head start on and everything like that so especially you know like spending Christmas with her mom and all that fun stuff and so yeah it's definitely good to get a head start on this type of stuff and it looks like we're actually slowing back down I don't want to do full because that's going to um knock it down completely and I don't want to do that There we go, there we go. Oh, we're going up about 13.1. We're at 13.0, so we're going up. Slowly but surely, we're going to get there. 
a little bit longer than a 30 minute video, but slowly but surely we'll get there. And we're going up in speed, so that is a good thing. Alright, so we got another clear signal here. Very nice. They told us to keep an eye on the signals, but we did end up stalling, so that train ahead of us probably got some distance between us. Um, that's why we're probably getting all these clear signals. But to all you guys that did, um, whatchamacallit, um, request steam locomotives, hopefully you guys are enjoying them. I know it did take me a little bit, a little while to do them, but here they are nonetheless coming into the new year I'm very excited very excited to see what this year brings to the channel and all that fun stuff so I'm very 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 excited about that we'll go ahead and shut this window here and we don't really need it open this one's I can't tell if this one's open or shut I'm assuming it's shut but then this is like the part to the left looks open but if I move it this way it looks like it's open on the right so I don't even know if it's open or if it's closed or what the deal is but we are going down again. And that is not what we want. Because we're going back up another 2.4%. My coal's going down, so we're going to try to start that up again. I want to make sure that we have enough power here. To get this up and going because it looks like we're actually going to stall this time and that's not what we want yeah we stalled and we're going that we're going backwards we are going backwards that's not good that is not good no 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 we're going backwards <laughs> Gonna apply the brakes there because right now we're just going backwards, man. We stalled and now we're just gonna run backwards. Hopefully, we can stop in time. I'm really hoping. Okay, so we're stopped. Looks like we're going forward. That's good. That's good. That's good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, we're stalling again. Luckily, we got a clear signal back there. That's really all that matters. Try to take this thing slow. We got sand on this, so we'll try to see if maybe we can get some traction doing that. All right, so that's that. So no matter what we do, that's going to be... Okay, so there we go. Now it's green. Nope, we're going backwards. I need to go forward, not backwards. Looks like the rear of the train isn't even moving yet. Hello, dispatch. Can you send me another engine? Uh, we're stalled up here. Oh, man. Let's see what happens if we put it in the full. So we're like 10 minutes late right now. We're still moving a little bit. Um, but we have stalled. Oh, we're moving forward. We are moving forward. Slowly but surely, we're getting this thing back up and running. <laughs> oh, no, we stalled again. All right, guys. Well, it looks like um, I can't. There's nothing I can do. To unstall the train it's not gonna be moving so we're gonna have to probably add a second locomotive and have dispatch bring us one and stuff like that um, but we're going downhill more than we're going uphill and I don't 
think we're going to be able to actually make it up this hill. That was kind of my screw up um, because I didn't have enough speed going up. But going 25 probably isn't going to be enough speed. So that's my screw up. But uh, that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. Do apologize that we did not finish it. But nonetheless, we did explore the cab over a little bit. And uh, we ended up stalling up on the hill. But uh, make sure you guys follow me on all the social media. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Everything you need to know is in the description below. Join the Discord server as well. And I will catch you guys here on the next episode. Peace.